Hello everyone. Just want to make sure that we are at the right place and everything is working. Okay, let's see if this is going to work here. I think so. So that looked good. Now let me flip to this. Hello everyone. Well, if you can tell me, if you can hear me correctly, the last live that I did, it was on YouTube, uh, I mean Facebook, the voice was horrible. I discovered that I did a big update on my window on my computer and it screwed up all the setting that was preset in uh, the device that I'm using for the video. So now my question to you is, can you hear me correctly? Remember, you get the volume at the bottom left when you're watching. Yeah, right there by where it says subscribe there. It's okay. On uh, YouTube, it's bottom right. No, bot bottom left, the left. Bottom left, you can control the volume. Also on your device that you're watching, it is a volume there. So if you can tell me if the voice, it's okay. I did some testing this weekend on a closed video, put it that way. I test on YouTube, I test on Facebook, and then this morning I test again. I think I got it, but uh, the last one that I did live, it was a fiasco, a fiasco, fiasco. So I just want to, you sound good, awesome, awesome. And I know some device do differently and so on. So perfect. So today, before we get started, I get one big announcement. The animal catalog, the 2021, we're going to have the retire list today. Soon, it's going to be posted to demonstrator around 1 p.m. Mountain Time. I'm going to get the list. And usually it's got the French stamp set and the English, and it's a little bit confusing. I'm going to do my best to do it in alphabetical order, remove the French, do it in a page number also, and remove the thing. I will post it on my blog. Yes, I will. So let me see if I can show you where it's going to be on my blog. So let me go, I think I can do a screen share here. I think so. Okay, yeah, one minute. I think I can share that. I test that also before going live. But let me see if that's going to work. Okay, perfect. It is working. You're going to go at FrenchyStamps.com. Okay? FrenchyStamps.com. You're going to go there. And there, at the top, you get shop. You're going to go at the shop, and then you're going to click on last chance retirement. Right now, it's nothing there because we do not have the list. Like I said, soon we get the list. I'm going to put it there after I try to put it bigger and friendlier. So give me about midday and it will be there. Or maybe soon the list is going to come. I'm going to put the list that I get from stepping up there right away. And then when I'm done with the friendly version of it, I will come and put my own uh, page there. But that's where you're going to go. So it's right at the top. Now, if you're on a mobile device, you won't see this. You're going to see like little lines. Click on the line. It's going to give you more option, and you're going to see the shop. Put your finger on the shop, and then you're going to see the last chance. Or on um, uh, maybe on a mobile device, scroll at the bottom, and you're going to have those options. This is on a PC. This is on a PC, okay? So now that we got that, figure it out. I love that I can share uh, those uh, screen there. So that's what's going on. And note that all that's going to be listed, it is all while supplies last. Some of the product will sell 
boom, it's going to be gone. So if it's anything on the list that it's a must have in your craft supplies or your product and so on, I suggest to buy it now. Some people are going to say, well, I'm going to have to uh, bar, uh, borrow from Peter to pay Paul or so on. I understand we don't have uh, money three in our backyard. I do. But that's the best that I can tell you. Everything on the retire list will be while supplies last. So I hope you're going to come and check that. And now we still have what? Ele uh, it's 10, 11, 12, 1. We still have three hours. This video won't take three hours, so it's going to be quick. So let me go to the next page here. Boom. So this is what we're going to do. And when I talk about uh, last chance while supplies last, this lovely paper that I use was part of that uh, Butterfly New Release. And the paper itself was while supplies last. It didn't even last three weeks. It lasted two weeks and not an, a full day after that. It was way more uh, in demand than stepping up uh, uh, overcast or whatever. So we never know. We have to take in consideration we had the free shipping last week when it went out. So who knows? So what I'm trying to say, it's when they mean while supplies last, it is while supplies last. So don't be upset about this one here because this one, I'm going to do it. I, we're going to do this today. But instead, and in the back here, this was the designer series paper also. But we're going to do it with regular paper for the butterfly. And also, I got the, if you, um, I'm going to put at the end of this video after it's done a play, uh, uploading the basic of this bundle. Because I got, I think, awesome tip to make this very quick and simple. And I love that this is one stamp set and boom, you can make a bunch of them in no time. I understand some of people like to cut them. I love it in one piece. I love the speed of it. I love it. And if I just need this one or that one, well, I do some in advance and boom, you see, I keep them in this here. So you see, I get some. So I, I stamp and use it that way. That's the way I like it. Yes, you can cut them if you want. You just use your scissors and cut them for me. That was, I love this. I absolutely love a one piece boom, boom, done. Okay. So. And now we're going to be using, uh, I'm not, I should have got that out, but I didn't. So let me remove that. I think it's this one here. Not sure. Yes, that looked like the one, but this one also looked like this one. Which one? No, this one is smaller. Okay. So we're going to be using this one here to do the cut. You're going to say, well, the cut of this is flat. Well, it's a trick to this, and that's what I'm going to share with you. You don't see in between here. You see? It's all full of tricks. So we're going to work with that today. So you see, even if I don't have the butterfly uh, paper, we can do this card. Uh, it takes one step extra, but we're going to make this card. One thing that I didn't get her is my villain. I just noticed that I had vellum there, and I got a piece of vellum here. Okay, so first thing first, so you're going to need two butterfly, and the butterfly that I'm using, it's the one on the left, the top left. The one that would, would re, blah, 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 work great for this card, it is this one or this one. This is too big to fit in an envelope the way you're going to do it. Those ones are smaller. So this one or that one, top left or top right would be great, okay? And so I'm using the top left. Now, your paper itself, let me move that. So your paper is going to be at four and a quarter. And why? So four and a quarter. You're going to score this at three inch. So we're going to score this at three inch. 
and then we're going to score this. I want to say seven. Let me double check here. And seven and a quarter. Sorry. Well, let me see one thing here. Huh. One second. Uh, I just want to make sure that I've got the right measurement here. So let me double check one thing here. Okay, all depends the side that you're going to do. Okay, so you're going to score, you can score one or the other, but you're going to score at a two and a quarter. And it's all on my blog, okay? Score at two and a quarter. And then you're going to score at six and a half. Two and a quarter and six and a half. And this piece measure nine and a half by four and a quarter. The measurements are on my blog at frenchystamps.com. So four and a quarter by nine and a half. Score at two and a half and six, uh, two and a quarter and six and a half. After you get that, we're going to bring the die cut machine over here. Let me remove this and let me share how we're going to do this. It's a trick to this. Here we go. Now, where you score at the two and a half? Well, you know what? I think I need to pull you higher. Okay, it won't do right now. Okay, let's cancel that. Okay, let me try to, here we go, we got it. Okay. So where you get the two and a half here? So you get that fold right here, okay? Now, we're going to use the platform one and two, and then we got our clear plate that it's a three. You're going to take your die cut, and this is going to go this way. So you're just going to cut on the Two, I mean two and a half, not two and a half, two and a quarter on this part here. So pass that through. It's very important that you put your butterfly right in the center. Very important. And you know what? I'm going to do it the other way. Let me push this. Just because I get the camera in my way here, I think this is going to be better. Okay. So if you notice... I get the center there and the center here. You can take a post-it note if you want, and I will take a post-it note just because I really don't want that to move at all, okay? Because it's very important to keep that right in the center. I'm going to put that right there. I'm going to take my other plate, number three. You're going to put your plate right at the score line. You cannot pass the score line. So if you see my plate, it's right at the score line here. Try to align that. So right here at the score line, it's my plate. You're going to see those finger here. I'm grabbing this till it's going to engage. Now that it's engaged, I can release it and boom. I just gonna go back. Oh, here we go. Let's make sure that it is okay. It's perfect. See? Now let's do our villain because I want to use a piece of villain. Now, oh, well, I need villain. So I got my villain here. We're gonna put this. This for the villain. And um, I want to go back and forth to cut it. So I'm gonna go once. Go back, and we should have our villain. Okay, let's remove this. And let me make my room here. And 
sometime, sometime, most time, I really like to keep that on my, um, especially for vellum, and then just go inside. Oops. Just the first one. I think that worked very lovely. And then I could. Uh, so let's make sure that everything is removed. Let's. Vellum, it's a little bit tricky with delicate dye. Put it that way. And this one didn't do a good job at all. Usually it's not. You know what? I think what I'm going to do is put this back in. Oh. Well, I won't use it. I would have to put it back in and use it back and forth. Let me see what I can do. No, I didn't. So we won't use the vellum. So the vellum, like I said, uh, you have to go back and forth a few times. Um, and I really didn't get it right this time. Let me... I got another villain here. Let me pull this. Let's see if the butterfly is. It's bugging me that I got it. And no, here we go. Let me see. Here it is. There we go, much better. So this one, I went three times, see? So the vellum can be tricky when you're gonna cut with it. So you want to, um, I think it's because of the glaze maybe, or the text, the feel of the vellum. So that's why. So let me remove this. Here we go. And it's still here, not, you know what? I will pass it one more time. I didn't plan on this. So when that happened, I'm going to put it in. See, now it's matching. Let me put it back in. Okay, let's try this one more time. It's just, you know what, I'm going to be honest, I think I get a defective one. So, okay, we won't use this one. That's it. <coughs> I'm going to call stamping up. If ever that happened to you, please, if you purchase it with me, contact me, and I'm going to make sure that we're going to take care of you, okay? I did, the last time I put a piece of cardstock, yeah, it's just, it's one side that it's not... Uh, where did I toss it here? See, this side, it's very lovely. It's all gone. But this side here, it won't, that part here won't cut. It's just won't. Right here. It worked a few times. And now, so this one, it worked very lovely. And this part here, it's not. So I'm going to call stamping up and they will take care of it. No problem. Okay.
because of the oh the antenna here we have to be careful you're going to push this reinforce your score reinforce never mind the butterfly don't go right that's okay now open it up and you see i'm going to take my scissors and go right here never mind the antenna there now it's good you don't have to clean any of that what you're going to do and i got two butterfly let me share how i done this this was color very very simple very simple i use basic gray uh, i mean smoky slate i use the dark one for the body and i'm using blend but really i'm not blending okay i'm doing very simple coloring i'm using granny apple green for the head i like the granny apple green for the butterfly in the red i'm going to start with the blue and i am not even following really the lines there i just going to add oh some blue a, a line of blue here oh now i don't know where the phone i'm going to close the door here we go and then everything happened today right the butterfly didn't cut correctly now the phone it's ringing the dog are not barking though that is what is about life uh when i go live it's in my household and thing happened and you just go with the flow that's it i know some people it's gonna bug you you're gonna say maybe i should turn off the phone i should put the dog in their kennel but you know what i keep it just the way it is it's normal it's just it's life here we go i try a shim i know a lot of people you guys say a shim i did try a shim when you when i went back for the second and the third time i did uh, try a shim and like i said it worked great on the one side but not the other side so trust me stamping up will send me another one sometimes it happened that you get a defective one so don't be afraid when that happened contact your demonstrator that you purchase your product from and they should take care of it i know that if you purchase it with me i will take care of it i will call stamping up and take go from there and we will make sure that you get a replacement here we go if you did it if you didn't purchase it from me though you you cannot um, contact me because i cannot take care of that it have to be purchased on my online store okay so it's very important that you contact the person that you shop with here we go now i use dark daffodil see very simple yes keeping it real that is what it is so that's i did two of them so i die cut two and that that's not with the detail die cut okay that is with the big one like i said you stamp one you get all that and i keep them in a little uh, container there now um, i would tell you the measurement and to be honest they all on my blog so make sure you check my blog I didn't get a piece of white for this though. So we're going to get a piece of white. Um, and I didn't get my thinking of you. This Good Morning Magnolia here, this been uh, one that I keep on going for for greeting. I love the hello things thinking of you it's one that i use all the time so if you're looking for one that got good size greeting i really recommend this so now i think my center it's three by four and a quarter no it is four and a quarter by four and a quarter so we need four by four for our center i'm going to go ahead and cut this four by four that's good we're going to stamp, uh, I mean stamp, we're going to glue this inside. Oops. Okay. 
and I just look at my adhesive, we will not run out. Lately, every time I was live, I was go running out. Now, we're going to take our butterfly here, and we're going to pass it through. See, I just go zip, zip, pass it through, and we're going to glue it right at the top. If you see it's tight a little bit, you can just snip it a little bit in the center. It's going to fit, but sometimes it's tight a little bit just because you know where we put the center. So we're going to make it work. And this is going to fit on our regular envelope, okay? Right there. Just press it in the center there. Here we go. Now we're going to flip it the back. Get some glue here. And we're going to do the same thing in the back. So you see, this is a tiny bit smaller, right? Because it's the vellum that was going at the top. Now we're going to put that right at the top here. Just press this down here. So then you can align this just right. And remember, I cut it a little bit, so I'm going to just come here and cut that little piece there. And that, it's not a must, okay? You're going to see if you feel you have to cut it or not. Because when you lay it flat, it works perfectly. Et voila! Is that cool? Now... I'm using, like I said, we don't have the butterfly bijou anymore, but I thought the hydrangea Evan was perfect for that. So we get the piece for the front. And that is four by two and three quarter. Four by two and three quarter. And then inside, I got a smaller piece. I want to say it's two and a half yeah two and a half by three and three quarter i just wanted a bigger border that's it now just for uh oh and i had a little strip here you know what we're going to put a little strip there that was just left over and so this is four by f yeah four inch by f so it's just when you open it up, it's all flow very lovely together. Voila. See how pretty that is? Now, I did another butterfly, and that's the tiny one here. Uh, I want to say it's this one or that one. Okay. It's the top. Uh, so that would be the top right because this is going to get flipped this way top right okay so top left top right we are using gonna take this we're gonna put that there that it's like the closure that's gonna keep it close so i just gonna put a dimensional on the left side and you're gonna understand why it is on the left side we're gonna close this Put it right there. Now I'm going to use my Thinking of You with Memento Ink, and I should have stamped that first. Let's open this up. Thinking of You there. See that beautiful writing? I just love it. Okay, I had some ink on my fingers. So... So a lot of people, when I use this eraser, I get mine on Amazon. It's a mono sand eraser. Mono by Tombow sand eraser. That is good just like for a little smear on your cardstock. It's not good for big uh, whoops, but for little oops. Now I'm using, uh, let me use my black marker here. And... I'm just doing a flight pattern 
here we go and here i don't have butterfly but i still can do a fly pattern and stop it on the side now inside this is going to get slide oops this is going to get slide in and you know what it can be a little bit further down the road let me okay did you see i roll it i didn't pull it up i roll it and that's very important see here you want to roll it if you roll it it's going to remove it very good if you pull it up it's going to tear up the paper so remember that if you have to change like for the glue dots or the dimensional you roll it roll it Okay, this is going to be here. I just want a little bit to go on the side there. Here we go. So now when I open it up, boom, boom, this is going to get right there. It should be okay there. Yeah, et voila. Now I'm going to take this here. And I can even go more here. Here we go. Just to do a little flight pattern, but that is it. And I'm gonna share with you that it fit in a regular envelope. One second here. Get an envelope here. Whoops, 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 whoops. So it's very important that you follow the measurement if you want that to fit in the regular envelope, see, this is going to fit right in. Boom. Because <laughs> it could be if you don't use the same butterfly, or I did one of that with the hearts, I did one with the circle. If you don't fo follow uh, the direction where to fold the paper, well, your object can be too long. So, excuse me, you have to make sure to know where that goes in here and here voila very very simple right i hope that you enjoyed that and again if you got maybe i want a little bit more see roll it when you roll it it worked perfect roll it so third times it's a charm put it that way uh, if you fail the first time, it's not fail. It's just you do it again. So don't be afraid about, don't be upset when you try something and it don't work right the first time. Just go back at it. Here we go. I want it a little bit more. So it's not failing. It's just you try it again. Et voila. So that is it. So now this is going to slide right in there it keep it closed and the beauty many people ask me does it stand by itself absolutely boom and what it's nice see when it stand you see the butterfly there so i hope that you enjoy this oh i don't know what happened there don't know oh well here it is. So what I was telling you about the three line, it's right here. You're going to go in the three line and then you're going to have it right under the shop there for the retire list. Here we go, my friend. I of uh, Wink of Stella. Absolutely. Wink of Stella worked very, very lovely. Add some bling. Um, if you love bling, absolutely. You can add Wink of Stella. You can add rhinestone here and there whatever worked for you absolutely so this is it so again this was a true live phone ringing uh, the die didn't work but when that happened trust me stamping up stand behind their product so just give your demonstrator a call and uh, they should take care of you uh, I know if you purchase from me, make sure you contact me and I'm going to make sure that anytime you get something defective. One thing that I want to say though, we get the 90 days. Uh, so when you get your product, you don't want it to sit on your sh the shelf for two years because if you wait two years to give it a try, well, you uh, it won't be warranty. So you want to give it a try, especially dice, punch, um, 
you want to give it a try soon it come in okay so you don't want to wait months and months or a year before you give it a shot and you're like this came defective a lot of time we won't even carry that product on end so make sure you try it when you get it that is it my friend don't forget at 1 p.m mountain time we get the retire list it is while supplies last for the annual catalog 2020 2021 bye-bye for now my friend